I guess I take it as if you. How am I going to say this? Um, offend some people. Say how you say it. If it's going to be well, offensive, make it yeah. offensive. Uh, hey, well, this is, some people need to be offended. Push, <laughs> I guess it, it's, it's more of a. If you don't want it that bad and you're not getting up that early. You must don't want it. Then you don't. You don't. You, you yeah, don't exactly. Want it. That's not where yeah. the direction you, you should be going. Yeah. So you can't say you want something and then. <laughs> We are back with Surviving Startup. We Let's back. do it. Today we have a special guest, Levi Scott. I'm Levi, good. what's going on, Levi? I'm doing good. Explain Thanks for it. having me. Always, like always. Explain to people. Let's, Let's introduce ourselves for people. Oh, yeah. Be here for new the people. Time. Forget you about that. <laughs> Go back to the first it's episode. Always new people. So, I'm Jamal. My business is Infinite Legacy Media. I'm the media guy. And my name is Terry Sylvester. I own a mobile detailing business. I'm the detailing guy. And we here and with. Let you introduce Levi. yourself. Let's Who go. are you? What is your business? What do you do? I am uh, Levi Scott, and I own a greenhouse. So I do. I grow flowers. Pretty much is what it comes down to. I grow flowers and ship them out to make sure I can fulfill my contract. So now, when you say greenhouse, is that like a? public greenhouse where I can come in and buy I mean you you can because I know you okay okay <laughs> right, the, okay the public you know and no it's not not retail it's solely commercial so I okay break that down it's please in a so yeah. pretty much when I first was starting to get into it um I've been in the greenhouse business since I was 12 years old mm. so, and that was more of the the labor side of it I was part of a greenhouse that started pretty small and throughout the years we you know I helped them add on so the construction side of it I helped them mm -hmm. from um, the labor side of it and then and we're talking about what age are we talking about this like growing up yeah 16, I was 12 15? I was 12 years oh, old when I did my started 12. it so that, <laughs> that was just Saturdays so okay. that was just my intro introduction to yeah. the workforce and you know just hey I got a few bucks in my pocket yeah you know and then um the older I got, the more I enjoyed it. Nice. You know, it's it's hard work, but I don't know. I guess what isn't this day? This right. day's that's worth it. But um, so after that, you know, I went to college out of high school. Hated it, <laughs> like everybody. Yeah. So <laughs> like so I uh, I don't know took another year off, just worked, <laughs> and uh, didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I jumped into the military. Did the Navy for four years, mm. and uh, yes, that's really where I grew up. Mm. You know, first mm. two years couldn't stand it, yeah. all the rules and nice. having to walk this line. And I, that's not really me a whole lot. It is, but it isn't. You know, told what <laughs> yeah. to do all authority. the time. Yeah, yeah the authority part. Yeah. You know, I, you know, the second two years it was, uh, and my my senior chief, he was pretty, pretty down to earth, and he he really, he felt it was his job to make it. Like more of more fun than just a job. Okay. And uh, I really enjoyed it. That's nice. He almost took it personal when I said, "Hey, I'm, I'm going to go back to school. I'm not going to do the military anymore." And he was like, "What do I got to get you to do?" And I was like, "You take me up in a, one of these helicopters, <laughs> <laughs> or, or a, you know, a fighter jet or something like that. You give me a ride in one. I'll, I'll sign the next day, that day or something like that." And he, he just couldn't quite do it, but he tried. So nice. I gave him that. Nice. And then after the military, um. Went back to working for no. Actually, I went to went to college again because I, I had the GI Bill. Yeah. And um. So you went to college on them, basically. Yeah, like well, actually, you I use the, for that. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it was like yeah, I got yeah. free school. Why not you use, use them? Yeah, so it makes I was sense. like, you know, I'm gonna start off with community college. Hate it the first time around. Don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. And so loved another two years at community college mm. did really well you know and a lot of that i think i owe to the military it's you know showing up on time coming to this class and half of that is just being there yeah um, you know? yeah a regimen for success yeah yep. that made it easier yep. for you to succeed it's, yeah absolutely and so and then after that i transferred to grand valley and um 
met my wife there, got my degree in, in teaching. Okay, so, so you don't have a degree into what you're doing? No, okay. no, I don't have that at all. And, mm-hmm. and a lot of it is, when I look back on what I'm doing right now compared to like the college degree, it's more or less the being able to look at this manual or diagram or instructions really and it's just okay you can read through it and you can then know how to apply it because nice. a lot of what i do is is like chemical application okay okay you, know, you gotta do your math and make sure you have your rates and know yeah. what kind of it's kind of complicated science if you really don't know what you're what you're doing and you can really it's the artistry too yeah yeah and heck i didn't hardly know i had never grown any, anything even at my other greenhouses mm. that i worked for i was never really responsible for a crop but did that give you um experience to be suc- more successful when starting your own the time that yes you spent there? yes absolutely I, especially when it comes to like the process okay um and the confidence really because what i saw was the process of it Mm -hmm. okay how do we get all these plants and baskets let's say you got twenty thousand baskets (laughs) on the ground they need to go from point a to point b how are you going to get that there you know from point a to point b and then you know okay then you got to start thinking about okay well it has to happen in a day or it has to happen over the course of a week okay now you got to start thinking about how many people am i really going to need can Mm -hmm. i really do this by myself uh, now you and that was one of the big lessons that I did to learn. Get employees. Yep. That's and a then, yeah, that's a topic by itself. Yeah. <laughs> I, seen, I think I seen a couple like uh-huh. I don't because I was my question for you. My next question would be how integral not in just going to school, but how integral do you think the military was in your overall success? Oh, I think it was huge. It, it's not only does it. Like being in the military give you that discipline that you need because mm-hmm. you guys probably know this. It's all on you. It's all on you. Whether you everything you do is on you. Anything mm-hmm. happens, it all comes back on you yeah. as the the owner. Yeah. So that responsibility level is was huge. The military did give me that mm-hmm. you know confidence to be you know, a leader is okay. somebody that you can, all right, you can make these yeah. decisions and be confident with it. Yeah. So what was those, what would you say would be the um, the major, I know you say, again, discipline was the one of the big things and then that leadership. So was those the only, was like, is there other things that it instilled in you? Like, are those the two biggest things you think that was the, those are probably the thing the for biggest? your success? Yeah. yeah, those are probably the two biggest and, um, but not only that, as being a, like, I never owned a business in my life. So mm-hmm. now Where you're the around. business side of it, you have to get, you know, credit. Yeah. Were you around yeah. people who own business? Say your dad owned a business, your grandpa owned a business. No. So you're the first well, person who. My grandpa owned a business. I didn't really okay. chat with him about it. I yeah. want to say he passed away six years ago maybe so okay. so you're the first year person was my, who's just doing this in my family but then i have i have a couple of uncles okay. who inherited or bought my my grandpa's electric business mm-hmm. so that they're electricians and have their own yeah. business um a couple of cousins that they have all kind of branched out on their own doing okay. you know handyman stuff or tree work okay um, okay so there's a handful of people mm-hmm. in my family that i can go to and say hey I'm, I don't know anything about this. This is something that I need help in. Yeah. Um, you might help me, and they'd be happy to sit down and talk through stuff. So right, it's, right. That's another thing that's helped me to be successful, too, is knowing when you need to you need go to, to somebody for help. else. Mm-hmm. It's you okay know? to ask for help. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely okay. And People use that as a stigma, and it's... I, you can't ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. No, you absolutely can, and you should. <laughs> you should I, ask for I help. I encourage you. Ask to questions. Ask, ask for help. help because <laughs> if you don't ask the questions, if you're, it, it doesn't. You know, I don't think anybody, as a business owner, if somebody came to me and was like, "Hey, man, I see you doing this pretty well." Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. Or hey, look, we had a conversation my, about that. Yeah. We, did we had a conversation that. about that mentorships, and yeah. it's easier to talk to someone about learning how to do what you do than being a fan. 
And not only that, it's just being it's encouraging. Human, yeah. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. to know that, hey, look, I'm not in this boat all by myself. Yeah, yeah. we you can know, figure this out together. Everybody else around here is going through the same thing or has has gone through yeah. the same thing. <laughs> yeah. And they're more, at least in my experience, uh, anybody you ask, it's like, hey, look, I'm... Like most people be either, more than happy to share that information yeah, with not you. Not only that, if they don't know it or willing to share it, they're like, hey, here's a card. Here's a, this guy, he helped me out of John. <laughs> Call him and he'll, he'll help you out. So Nice. All right. So from the um, from college to uh, army back to college, now owning your own business, was it hard starting your own business, saying yes, I'm gonna do this, uh, yes, I'm gonna take this step, yes, I'm gonna be broke for two years because you never know how people situations yep. are. Yes, my wife's gonna hate me for the next three months. <laughs> so before you did that, was that leap hard, or was it was it a leap, or did you just dive into it? It was a jump in, you know, jump in the deep end right off the bat. Right off, the bat. <laughs> you know, at least, at least for me. And you went commercial right off the bat. Yep, like I had uh, contacts with my previous bosses with who they who employed them, I guess, or had they, they got contracts through them. Mm. Okay. And so I got to know one of the ladies coming in and out, and I just said, well, hey, if I ever, you know, I, I would really like to own my own greenhouse. It's kind of looking like I might go that way. Would you guys be interested in me growing for you? Mm. And that's a big step on their end. They knew who I they was. Knew. So they bought you as a person. As a business. Pretty much. Yeah, it was, been, yeah. I had never done that before yeah. in my life. So they were taking a risk on me, yeah. really. And I was... Kind of saying, hey, look, if I'm going to be successful, you know, I I can I got this, I can offer you, and nice. but they're like, yeah, you're not vetted, but you know what, here it is, and uh, that's a leap in itself because yeah, most people's acting yeah, a especially competitor. Commercial when you talk about <laughs> Why you're working for someone or <laughs> yeah. you're not just talking about con- straight consumer, you talking about commercial. That's awesome. So that's always. A- a big thing. That's like, a huge so thing. There's a lot going into Because off rip, you have a customer. I, I wouldn't have been able to do what I did without, and they helped out a ton. They had, nice. they're, they're a, I don't know, 60, 80 million dollar year company. And with their resources for little old me, mm-hmm. you know, they probably have 2 million square foot that they either grew up, somebody growing for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. About a million square foot that they grow themselves. Mm-hmm. So it's, and I'm at 60,000 square foot, you know, but um, in order to get into this business too, it's a lot of upfront costs as wow, far as, yeah. especially your structures. You got, I know for me, 80,000 square foot, that's got to yeah. be, it's all enclosed and as open as it can be. So you, you know, that, that was just finding a place that had that available was, a big story in itself. Mm-hmm. Um, where where were we at with that? I was question? just asking how was it easy? Was it a but yeah? Easy so it was more of a it was more of a mental a, thing or what? Yes, because I had talked about <coughs> wanting to, to own my own business for ever since you didn't know what business or just, just a business or you didn't know you wanted to be an entrepreneur. Yeah, I I liked the greenhouse industry. Okay. But then I'd go landscaping for a summer. Yeah. Say, oh, I, I, you know, it was just the, the, I don't know, the ability to be on your own, the freedom of it, yeah. being able yeah. to make those decisions and <clears throat> kind of run things the way you wanted That's to cool. run it. Yeah. The things, so, the perks. Yeah. yeah. And it's, the perks. With that, you know, yeah. all that responsibility comes back on you. <laughs> so uh, that's... Much is given, much is required. Nice. But as far as scared out of your mind, yeah. It, like for me, there was loans available that I didn't have a clue about until I really got into got it. Got into it. And one of them was through the USDA. And so you fill out the paperwork and you sit there for, I don't know, two, three, four months before they even give you a call or it's you just sit there with no, no communication yeah. from them at all and then all of a sudden it's like boom you're approved <laughs> nice and then when that happened like I, I didn't think i had a you know I, I come from pretty much nothing yeah you know mm-hmm. growing up you yeah. know we were we had everything we needed not necessarily everything we want yeah okay. so 
Most I of us. Told him, yeah, you, yeah, you got you got to work, you know, and that's what yeah. I told you. Hey, if you, you got to work. Have this goal in mind. You got to bust your tail. You got to nice. work and to get it done. Yeah. So, to me, it sounds like um, the characteristics for success is really what took you to your success. Yeah. Oh. The discipline, the leadership. So talk about what that looks like. Like, I can't tell you what, like, I'm not going to tell nobody just to go to the military to get <laughs> discipline and leadership skills. And like, I was going to say that because some people get <laughs> different outlooks from the military. Yeah. Like, your outlook, yeah, I don't know how your totally outlook, different. It, you know what I mean, is, but a lot of people don't, I mean, come back and totally different. They're a great opportunity. It depends, like, for me being in the Navy. Okay, you're that's what you want, maybe. We're not speaking against the military. No, not at <laughs> no, all. And, if and, that's and what any, you do, go be great. Be great at <laughs> everything you do. All the branches in the military service are, are in my book, honorable. Yeah, and yeah do what you, you do. do. I always military. wanted to go to the Marines. I didn't because of my son. I only, that's the only reason I didn't because I was 16 and I had my son. But that's the only reason I didn't. Nope. I was 17 and I was... I wanted to be a Marine. And I had my daughter, but I was going to go still. And then I remember being in school and 9-11 happened. And that teacher came in crying. She put it on the TV. Yeah. And at that moment, <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 don't, I don't blame anybody no. for that, you know. And there's other cases to where guys saw that and they were like, you know yeah. what? Let's go. I'm going Let's in. Go. I'm going to take Let's care go. of business for, yeah. for our country, you know. No. So it's, it's, it's definitely a – there's so many opportunities that were opened up through from the military. Through the military. From, not only, I don't know, the, the, the people that you meet, but Connections. even for me, you see somebody that's in the military or has been as a veteran or something like that, and they, they find that out 99% of the time, they're like, thank you for your service. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's like a... It's a different kind of Jeep community. It's they're, they're, <laughs> Exactly. And, and they're yeah. unsung heroes. It doesn't matter what you did. Like, I was a storekeeper. I... I took a room the size of this and made sure it was clean and if somebody ordered a part out of my my storeroom i'd go and grab it and mm -hmm. bring it and call them up and say hey i got your part sitting here or hey it's on back order nice. you know it'll be here yeah two months from now i you know or however long it's gonna be and you think of something little small and minuscule like that you don't think you're really doing a yeah. whole lot but in the grand scheme of things yeah that man, part everything was the one part that ran that f-18 yeah, it goes out all the yeah. time, or and now they're on missions, and all of a sudden they need it in, mm -hmm. a, in a jiffy. Yeah, and you got it back here. You run it up, and they're able to swap it out, and you're back on missions, helping out those guys that are boots on the ground. You know, mm -hmm. but um, so we was on the the discipline and the leadership part. Um, yeah. What I was kind of going into was when well, that's why I brought up the military because. Um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's things you can do as a person to figure out, like, how can you get more discipline? How can you get more leadership skills? We know, as people, most of the time, some are our weaknesses, right? Mm -hmm. So, especially if we're on the road to trying to be an entrepreneur, then we start learning about ourselves more because we learn about things that we need to accomplish through that road, and then we start seeing things of ourselves. So, how would you... Would you say somebody could start to build that, like, discipline, leadership? Like, well, what what does that look like in, mm. in a business aspect? Right? Waking up every day on time. Yep. And early that, that, mornings. It's the small stuff, really. It, what it boils down to is, okay, I've got 10 people who there's livelihood depending on me. If I'm not up at this time... At the what if you don't got 10 people depending on you? You just you and your business by yourself. So now you have to build these habits that you really need. How successful do you want to be? To make yeah. it to be successful. How successful do you want to be? Mm. You know, that's kind of what really what... I, and not, not every time. It's not always the hours you put in. Mm. It's a lot of it's education as well. Knowledge. A lot of it. So educate yourself. Take those classes. If you don't know, like for me, this is something that I even have to work on right now. The mm -hmm. business aspect of it, the taxes, the permits, mm -hmm. all this other, you know, the, the book work, the paperwork, that type of stuff. I'm not great at it. But there's prices the out there for we that. We did an episode yeah. with a tax person the other week, too. Yeah. 
And then yeah. there's, there's plenty of options out there and either you can pay for a class that if you need it right now or whatever, or there's many other <laughs> options out there for free classes, <laughs> free webinars. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff that you can, I think that's probably one of the biggest things for, for and a lot of it is your, your drive, you know, how do you really want to be, I guess I take it as if you, how am I going to say this? Um, offend some people. Say how you say it. If it's going to be well, offensive, make it yeah, offensive. Yeah. Uh, hey, well, this is, some people need to be offended. Push, <laughs> yeah, push, I guess it, it's, it's more of a, if you don't want it that bad and you're not getting up that early, you must don't want it. Then you don't. You know, you yeah, don't exactly. Want it. That's not where yeah. the direction you, you should be going. Yeah. So you can't say you want something and then expect it to happen. Do, what, do yeah. what's counterproductive to yeah. you getting that. Yeah. Blaming, using somebody, giving excuses. A lot of people use excuses. Wake up on time and figure it out. Yep. That's how I look at it. Um, I think one of the <clears throat> biggest things I've seen um, with myself of being able to um, make sure I'm doing that is being able to have a measurement, right? Because you can be busy, 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 and then at the end of the week, I was probably loud. I was all in the mic like that. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the week, you're like, man, I ain't even really get a lot done. So if you don't have, like, the goals, the structure to it, then you can't really measure, mm. am I doing... You, I could be doing everything Time over lines. here, here. But if you, if you so say I need this and this, this done, but then what you're doing is something busy over here, and you getting this done, but then at the end of the week that still ain't done. You touched it a couple of times, but that's so still let's, ain't let's done. Let's speak on that. You can't get measured. Seeing that you can't measure. You got to be able to measure. It. So by goals and deadlines, seeing that and you're a planter, and you have to have trees by this time. You nope. have to have. How do you figure that out? Because it takes. I don't know. It's, it's three game. months to, to grow some plants, or it's, three months to grow this one. Twelve it's a numbers months to game. Grow that. For, for me and what I'm doing, there's I mean, we call them. It's just like a, a six week crop, an eight week crop, mm. or uh, I think I'm the longest one I might have is maybe eleven weeks. Okay. A oh, small time. Okay, so, so it's you got all it. like I'm small. just starting this week, and week this is week six for us, and we kind of week one is January first that that first <coughs> week, and we just kind of. Mm. Go all the way up to 52 weeks. Um, but for us, it's like in this week, we, we got to broke down. It's really a numbers game. It's okay. okay. They've given me a list of what I need to plant that week. The plants, I get weekly shipments once a week. It's so usually it's a Friday or Saturday. Mm. or maybe Sometimes if they're late, it might be a Monday. For, but whatever they bring me that week is supposed to be planted within seven or eight days you know mm. so that's kind of my goal once all these plants are leaving unless it's something from their end like i don't have the plastic containers that i need to fill up with dirt to be able to put the plants into mm. that's not on my end so but yes i have my plants are sitting there but it's a, it's a it's a goal it's all right i have i guess five thousand of this plant mm. and X amount of baskets that need to get filled up. Um, if you don't meet that, they don't have the growth time that you need to be ready on time to meet their requirements mm, too. Yeah. So it, it really is a, for me it's more or less, hey look, we gotta do this many a day. Okay. Kind of break it down that way. Mm. So, and I guess in the grand scheme of things to be successful, it's okay. What What is your giant goal that you wanna <laughs> have? Okay, I wanna go from point A to point B. But all these steps are in between. Mm -hmm. Break it down week by week. Break that down even further to day by day. Okay. I feel like that's what people get I lost. Need to, it's like wanting to be a millionaire or something. Yeah. Like, okay. I've got to, each day I've got to make X amount of dollars yeah. every day. Every day. At the very least. Because then And at the end of a year, yeah. okay, uh -huh. I'll make a million bucks. Uh huh. So it's, it's just really focusing on okay you got your smaller your, steps you got your giant goal okay this is where i want to be but now you got to slowly yeah. back it down uh, to your day to day steps. so if you are like one of those people that have problems trying to figure out like what your goals look like which goals should you be putting where start with the grand scheme of things the Break big picture and then just 
break it down timeline what you need to do to get this and this because once you look at that big grand th scheme of things and you learn yeah, everything impossible. you need to do oh, yeah. then you're going to be like okay <laughs> I need to do this 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 okay but now once you start to break it break down into smaller timelines you can figure say, it okay, out I'll do this this one this is the most important to get done first so take the first couple months on this and then next thing you know a year later you were getting closer to where you're trying to be Instead of looking at the big picture, like I want to get there, I want to get there. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of it is mental. Uh -huh. I figured out too. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely transparent right now. Uh -huh. For me, where where I lose um, my confidence at in seeing that big picture is when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. If I'm not doing everything that I know I should be doing or everything that I said I was gonna do, then in those times is the times where I kind of feel like I don't know about this, and I didn't really noticed that before. But yeah. then when I know something like, okay, like... And that's you just being hard on yourself, though. Yeah. But that's what also would drive you. <clears throat> yeah, because like, I knew, okay. yeah, for mm. me, I knew, like... How when many I, other people are really going <laughs> to feel that way? You know, it's like, okay, I set a goal. It, it's, I think of, like, quarterbacks, like Tom Brady or something mm. like that. You know, he missed a pass or... And he's pissed at himself because he missed it, you know. Either, maybe, maybe it was wide open. Mm, maybe he right. just had this narrow window or, like, Steph Curry, he's trying to, you know... Shoot, he shoots hundreds, yeah. uh, thousands of shots probably every day, but he makes. I just saw a stat the other day where he made like 145 shots in a row with three pointers, and then on his 145th he missed. missed. He pissed, you know. Mm. But that's what drives him. Mm. So it's like, you know, that's what is making him great. That kind of a shooter, you know. He's true. Well, no, yeah, that was a, that was my problem. Like I used to, my problem was I wanted what 70 year olds had that's how i had to break that down like i want because i used to have like even till then right now i got a lot of people older cats who've been doing what they've been doing for 30 40 years yep. and i want what they have yep and it's like you got to see what they went through <laughs> and right? that's what a lot of, and, and a lot of cats and, and that's that. what everyone yeah. says like terry slow down you're doing great you're yep. 30 years old when i was 30 years old i was doing such and such and such <laughs> and such and such you're doing great it took me 30 years to get this even my grass for instance my uncle has this beautiful grass yep. he's been working on his grass for 20 years i've had my house for two and you want them <laughs> and to i like want his grass i want his grass <laughs> and i'm gonna do what i you can to get his grass and i haven't even lived there long enough to get the soil right yep. And that's when my problem come in, trying to want what everyone, what I see other people have and not working on those small steps. Now I'm realized what But those the bigger small, things though. Like, that's the bigger thing. Now I realize what the small steps matter. Every small step matter. Even when I fumble, yeah. it matters. It, Cause happen. now I know how not to fumble. Exactly. <laughs> well, all learning, the other <laughs> learning is messing up. Messing make, up. Making mistakes. Sometimes, in order for you to learn, it's going to hit your pocketbook. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so what they say. Gets, you know, you're <laughs> falling on your face, and okay, I, I can't do this no, type of thing. So that's one of the things I would say. Like, if you, if it's hard for you to find like encouragement to do stuff like you should do, like pay for the courses. Like you it's ain't okay. about to just pay for this course and not take and it, and then just leave it. Just some things you can't pay for. Uh -huh. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can only pay for uh -huh. it with experience. Or, uh huh. Yep. True. Yeah. Man, mostly you is you gotta do it. You, you know gotta do mean? it. A lot of the greenhouse guys that I was telling for years, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and I never did it. They're like, yeah, you just gotta jump in and do it. Just gotta do, do it. Do. Well, you know, and I was like, well, what do you mean? How? How do you do that? Mm -hmm. Figure it out. You took the first step. You said you wanted to do it. <laughs> now, we, I've asked all these questions about your business and whatnot. Yeah. I never asked the question, are you happy in your business? Do you like what you're doing? Because a lot of people do business and they just do it just because, it, you know what I mean? No, I'm... Are you happy in what you're doing? Do you like, enjoy what you're doing? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm I'm pretty ADHD. I've never been diagnosed or anything like that, but... I was. You know, I'm... <laughs> it's Okay. <laughs> I like doing different things. So, like in this industry, I have anywhere from underground sprinkling, um, mechanicals that I get to mess around with. I have Variety. plumbing, stuff that I have to, you know, water's okay. got to get from point A to point B. What size of pipe are you going to use? How are you going to connect it? Right. I've got these injectors that I'm still not. And you figured with. all this out on your own. Not on my own. Not on your own, but you but like you're figuring it out. Yeah, you're figured not, out. How you're not hiring someone out. Someone to get the information right. with yeah. as a person or something. Yeah. And a lot of time, most of these guys in the industry are 
you know, the guys that have been doing it for 20, 30, 40 years. 40 you know? years. And I can call them up and say, hey, I'm finding this issue with my crop. Oh, did you pull or double check up? this. <laughs> you know? So you go and double check it, and it's supposed to be at a three, and it's at a one. Yeah. Like Don't a, that irritate you, though? It'd be like, I looked yeah. at this four times. And, 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 and hopefully, you know, that's the <laughs> But that's why they want to see you succeed. I think anybody in a business mindset, Mm -hmm. they want to see you succeed Mm -hmm. and they're willing to help you out. Mm -hmm. And that community alone is just, I don't know, in my book, they're different. My greenhouse fell down this year. I need help rebuilding it. All right. I'm sending a couple guys out your way. We'll be out there next week. Or when's it going to, all the parties are going to be there. Nice. You know, like I I remember doing that for somebody. You know, it was, hey, the snow load collapsed my greenhouse. I got the parts sitting here now. What's well, okay? We just rally around each other because it's you know, community. Yeah, there's not a whole That's lot awesome. of people that do it. That's what I was about to ask. Is it competitive? Is it a competitive? <laughs> You'd think it would be. I don't know, like because when you go out, I'm, let's say you own a greenhouse and you come to me and ask me for advice to make your, your greenhouse better, or it's, it doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah, here you go, Terry. This is how you do it. Why would I do that in that same industry? You, we're both we're growing both a growing. product, and we're both growing it for maybe the same person yeah. or same company. Why would I help you out? Because, look, I can sit here and put more yeah. additions on my greenhouse right. while you sit there and fail, and I can take your business and grow my business that way. But it's 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 not like that at all, which is... It's, it's a good thing. It's, I don't that's see a great that in a thing. Lot of businesses, you know? Community. That's a yeah. That's a that's great a good thing. Segue, because cool. um, when we all get together, we, we, that's we really a good do. Thing. We all hey, come to my place, check it out, glean as much stuff as you can off yeah. of my ways of doing stuff, or I've figured this out over the years, or yeah, hey, look, this that's is a, a great thing. That really helped us, and that's what a lot of people should start doing, coming together, because a lot of people don't, like you say, they. Yeah, why I do that? Say this is a great segue because <laughs> surviving startup, like that's really the goal. That's what we're doing. To build that community. You can't do it by yourself. Yeah. To build that community where it's a bunch of entrepreneurs with a bunch of information that's not just here to sell their business but be a community and help help each other other out and we can help each other out that's and that's the bigger your community the more help you have the more people you have that's there to advocate for you to say i know this person that Uh does xyz like it it just and who knows by you helping somebody else out and then all of a sudden they figure out a whole new process yeah Mm. Helps, and then helps me help out. Now. I mean, yeah. he'd be like, you know what? You help me out. You, 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 you yeah. take this information, or hey, look, no problem. I love it. I'll help you out. So that's the I, I don't know, but I back to I I, I love what I do. It's it's different every day. Mm, it really nice. is. I can be welding one day. I can hop in the semi one day. I can <laughs> you know, what type you know, of I, I, you know forklift one day. Yeah, yeah. On for, for a day. I can love a job for a minute, but that's, then if I'm there too long, awesome. it's like yeah, it gets yeah, boring. Right, things yeah. get boring. I'm ready to go. Like I need. You gotta to. push yourself. That's how I feel out of like even but a warehouse. When you like, get to a certain when you get to a certain point, it's like all right, I done mastered this. Like. Yeah, I'm bored. Yep. Now. That's how I feel with welding right now. People say welding is a great job, blah blah blah. Like, yeah, it is, but it's like second nature. It's yeah, once well, you're easy. good at it, it's it's, it's simple easy. It's nice. Okay. It isn't hard. You know, Even looking at a blueprint right now, it isn't hard. Yeah, I, like I used hard. to look at a blueprint and be confused. Now it's just like it's not. You know what to look for. Yeah, it's right not right hard. Ear, it, Mastery. That's nice. another thing too. Is it, once you get bored with something, okay, try and figure something else out. Learn to something learn new something. Yeah. every day. I tell Absolutely. people that every day. Yeah. Learn something new every day, whether it's your craft or it's just something new. It can be <laughs> just <laughs> something new. Exactly. It can be a hobby of yours. You know, it's, it's gonna. I don't know. Your mind will get off of the mundane. You won't be like, well, I gotta do this to do this to do this, and yeah, you know, you'll. Yeah, some people You're changing I think, your mind. You're using like different brain cells. That's the operation that we all got like came yeah. doing the same thing for too long of a time. Like you know. No. But I don't know. I got you got any more questions? I got one. Go ahead. Go ahead with your side. I was just gonna ask, what could you tell some people to do to like say for instance some people wanna start a greenhouse? I or Every greenhouse, every greenhouse is different, so I don't even know how that works. Because, like you say, you deal directly with, and that's one little itty bitty niche. Yeah, because 
I don't know. There's plastic greenhouses. There's where I live in Middleville. I see three, four, five. We're driving down. Plantology. This ology. Some other kind of ology. And there, and and it's. I don't know how many plants are there in the on the planet. Yeah. There's more than we can count. Yeah. Millions of species that we're trying to. So what could a person do today to start what you're doing, or anything they want to do? Specifically, what you're doing. And for the greenhouse, it's pretty much get get your foot in the door someplace. Figure out if you actually really like it. You know, like get into a greenhouse and see what that experience yeah, it's is. Yes, actually like. working one. Working actually, in one. Actually, you know, get inside. It's it's get your hands dirty because you have to love it in order to be involved in it because. Mm. It's really a labor of love. You, yeah. You're going to be in there from 4 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night before you go to bed. Yeah. You know, and that's going to, and you're going to walk 25 miles in a day. Yeah. So it's a very physical type of um, business. And, but there's ways around that. Like you can be more of the, the manager type. And me, I was always the doer. So now it's, okay, how can I delegate? Now you have to, you have to, now you have to learn how to delegate. Or yeah. do you know how to do that? It's a learning. It's a process. learning process. You know, it's like okay, I don't. I don't know about you guys, but for I'm, me, it's, it's like it's hard for me to delegate the way I want to do exactly. it. <laughs> yeah. I know it's not done right. It's not I, done I'm right. thinking it might not be done the way it needs to be done. <laughs> but a lot of that is it's, it's trust issues. Mm-hmm. It's, it's all right. You know what? I can give them a job and know that it'll get They're done. It might not be done the way I uh-huh. do it. Exactly. Yeah, would do it. Yeah, but, but I know it'll get done. It'll get done. And you know what? They're gonna screw up too, cause you look they back have to at learn. It when you were you were learning how to do learning it. Learning process. Screw up. Yeah, you did. So that, yeah. that's how you learn. So it's, it's more or less like this year, for example, it's my production side of it. I have a planting line, so we have I don't know seven or eight people on a line, and I'm kind of giving that to my right hand people and saying, mm. you know what, mm. I'm gonna kind of. I'll make the list. I'll make the here's what needs to get done for the week and what I want done, you know, every yeah. day. These are our goals. These are all the products and everything that you need to do it and get it done. Good. And I'll be around. I'll check. They'll, they'll have questions. That's fine. But I am going to focus more on the growing aspect of it, which I hadn't done in the past. Mm. And that's where I need to grow the most you need to, is yeah. to learn that side of yeah. it. So mm-hmm. it's freeing yourself up. So um, you can grow. So you yeah. can do that. But as far as they want to, I guess my advice is get into it. Get in the door. Are you hiring right now? Get, you, get, get your hands <laughs> oh, no. dirty. No, well, we're, we're all good for for this year. Oh, get your hands like dirty. The only <laughs> get your hands dirty is what I well, got from that's another side of it, like the employment. It's seasonal. So it's like, okay, for me personally, mm. I'm from like February to end of June, middle of June. So it's like a five, six months of work, work, work. I cram a year's worth of work because Pretty much how I kind of explain to people in those six months. Six months. You get a year's worth of profit. So, huh? You get a year's worth of profit in six months. Yeah. You nice. Know, business makes money, and for my Is first that- year, I, you know, I, that everybody told me you're not going to make money your first year. Make sure you plan in for loss and this and that. And I was blessed enough to actually people, make a little bit on the side, so. you know. So, but what I'm doing now is like, okay, these people probably never even had a business that tells you that. Yeah, like you're gonna lose, dude. You're not gonna every win. Doesn't work like that. No, every business doesn't accrue losses in the first years. I, I, I guess I uh, owe it you mainly showed to up. my wife. You showed you know, up, and really, yeah, it's the brain. And it's the you know you're gonna worry, but yeah. in the end, it things will get done. Just yeah. take it a day at a time. Definitely. Um, and then. In the grand scheme of things, you know, I I might not make I'm making money, but for five years, that's like okay. Now you're dumping that into your infrastructure, into your at least company. It's an every older five infrastructure, years, so yeah. now it's okay. But what I mean, where do I want to be? How what things need improvements? What mm-hmm. things bugging you? A joke around our community is like okay, what pissed you off the most? Get it fixed. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah. what gave you the most grief? What what really yeah. angered you the most? Okay, m- next year. Do your best to handle it, or save up enough in order to handle it. Type of thing. So, yeah. um, I like that. <laughs> I like that. That make me think of some things. I'm like, yeah. what's the worst thing? <laughs> no, yeah. Well, it's it's, yeah. it's true. It's like, okay, what what gave yeah. you the most oh, grief? Okay, was it employees? Okay, maybe it's time for some new ones. Some some new ones. Yeah. 
Um, That's a good way to look at things. If it's like for me, it was I didn't. Uh, I don't know. It's all right. These leaks, you know, that whole greenhouse got water running everywhere. Mm. These drips were driving me nuts. I didn't like it, you know. So all right, what do you do? Okay, I got to revamp this whole system. Do the whole system. You know, it's just old pipes. It's old glue. It's you know. Yeah, you can't even. You yeah. just gonna keep patching it up. <laughs> you, you can slap that tape around it, but it's not. Mm, slap that fix red that tape on there. <laughs> but it's not fix fix everything. That, you know, it's not <laughs> keep it for very long. So it's, it's no. still gonna come back. You know, you, you gotta really <laughs> break it apart and either get the new stuff yeah. or new seals nice. or whatever else they need. So and sometimes that's that costs money that but now you do it you do it right that's another thing if you're gonna do it do it do it right the first time around otherwise you're gonna be sitting there okay yep it's fixed it's not leaking next year guess what beginning of the year it's gonna start Start dripping again and it's gonna drive you nuts so and and it's all on your personality in my book it's it's okay what little idiosyncrasies do I have that you might not and Terry you don't have or you know something that really bugs you to me it's like whatever you know it can wait like, like my latest thing is floors I, it, I want my floors clean I don't want to step on I got young kids so I got a five year old three year old and one year old oh yeah they're yeah. stuck on the floors but it, it, it drives me nuts like I sometimes you walk in and it's like kick this fine. toy out of the way and it's yeah. alright all right, can we please keep it you know but they're kids and, and that's yeah. one thing that you know, and you just yeah, gotta. The struggle is real there. <laughs> have a better plan, or you know what? I think somebody told me this. It's like, all right, is it piss? How much is it really pissing you off? Do you? Is it really? Do you want to have your wife, your kids? Okay, but, you know, you need to do this. You need to do this. You need to do this. Or, how hard is it for you to just? All right, I'm gonna pick these toys up, and put them away, and put them away. <laughs> you know, you know, you're not. Giving your wife grief or your kids grief. Nobody's had like a problem. Like, you know what? I can bend over and pick this up. It's like trying not to be too high on the horse, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's I've always been taught that too growing up as far as, you know, if don't ask your employees or to do something that you're not you willing to do, do or you haven't done. Yeah, you can do. You know? So it's, yeah. We have you know, if you're not willing to do it, then that. why are you having somebody do it? I can't it? teach you how to do something I've never done. I can't yeah. expect you to do something I don't know. Yep. Then you have unreal expectations. Um, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, yep. We were just talking about that. Oh, we, are we still rolling? We still rolling. <laughs> we still rolling. <laughs> we still rolling. <laughs> so, I mean, to wrap up, talk about the characteristics. So, there's definitely two must have characteristics. <laughs> For success, if you want to succeed, and that's leadership mm-hmm. and discipline. Leadership and discipline. Well, I will scratch that. If you definitely discipline, but if you have great leadership skills, you have a great idea, find somebody that's a good leader. Then you can build something successful. If you're not a great leader, you don't necessarily have to be a great leader. You don't have to be a great leader to have you a business. You can work on your leadership yeah. skills it. But if you find somebody that's already got naturally a good leader, it always works. It works out. It works out. You know what I mean? And that's basically one of the things, kind of like you said in your business, like as you're growing, like find finding the different people with the different personalities. That works for you. For yeah. You to work with you. That way you don't have to wear all of these different personality hats and trying to be all of these yep. different type of people. Absolutely. I mm-hmm. Discipline and leadership, that's what I heard. Yep. Yeah. So what was, what, what was the recap from, for us, bro? Like, what was the main thing you got from me? You just pretty much broke it down, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah, I mean, I got that's what I got from me. Leadership and determination is where I got mm, from yeah, it. That's a lot of it. Leadership yeah. and determination because you seem determined from the jump. Rather, you knew what you wanted to yeah. do. Failure wasn't an option. Yeah. yeah it really wasn't. Yeah, you know? that's, a, that's, a, that's a huge difference. Most people talk about it and talk about it but not really determined. Definitely. Because if you got that determination, a strong determination, the determination. you will make it happen even if you don't have Leadership mm-hmm. or discipline, you will work. You will work if you will yeah, figure it out because you're determined yeah. to bring in. Because in order to, that's yeah. what I got from it. Yeah. Because you, you didn't even know discipline for you though you that you wanted to do. Right. Right. You didn't even know that you wanted to do greenhouse. 
you just know that you didn't you wanted to do something yeah and yeah. you were determined to make that something happen right whatever i was doing i was jumping when, in with, with, mm -hmm. with everything i got when so, you knew mm -hmm. it was greenhouses then you started Went with talking it. to people yeah. oh yeah Figured oh, it if out. i did this would you now you put so it that's where i got sphere. from like, it now you putting yourself into a position where it's like okay these people act like they really gonna i really have to know what i'm doing now you're going to find that information mm -hmm. Yep. Well, you got to crunch your numbers. You got to do your your homework, really. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like I said, it once that financing came through, it was. It's a lot of small technical Ooh, stuff. Here we I go. Think people want to skip sometimes. Yep. Like you that you can't. Skip you steps. can't skip no step. You every step matters. I had to figure that out. Every uh, step like, matters. I ain't gonna lie. Like the last couple months, I've been looking at my like. Okay, I've been skipping some steps. Yeah. I'm off. Let me back up. Start from boom and then don't miss no step and perfect every step every along step. the way. And if and do it like that and then see how much faster I grow than what I've been going on right plan now. Plan it out. Plan mm -hmm. everything out. Yeah. Like even before anybody is gonna give you any money if you gotta get finance through it or to, in to order to do it, you know, they're gonna force you to sit down and have come a up with a plan. <laughs> and and see, you know, you don't have that plan. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be like, "Well, what are you doing here? Yeah. I'm not going to give this to you. Yeah. You don't have a plan to what to do with it once I do." It. It's a lot of money out there you can get if you got a yep. business plan. What you don't need one to get your business started, but yep. it'll give you access. Yep, to it helps. Yeah. Open up different doors. Yeah. <laughs> not only that, it'll focus you yes. too on the direction you really do want to go. So, mm -hmm. especially when you start crunching the numbers and getting down to the numbers and stuff right now. <laughs> One thing I'm really focusing doubling down on right now is um, my target customer. I really, really trying to go all the way, like super deep. Like what you listen to? Into a you targeting know, you know? someone. Like where you go? Where you go to have fun? Like what do you like? What's your religion? Mm -hmm. What do your family structure look like? You know what I mean? When you can answer those type of questions. Like undoubtedly, then the marketing that you can come up with is so much more easier. It's not better, just better, but it's easier because you know, like these people like this, 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 this. Now you can make stuff around that stuff to appeal yeah. to them. But that's a whole other subject. Um, <laughs> remind us who you is, what you do, and then where the people can find you. Um, my name is Levi Scott, and I own LD Growers out in Sparta. LD, Sheen. spell that because <laughs> you just said that. You just said LD. Google it. <laughs> Google it. Google it. You won't find it. Um, yeah, it's E L D E E Growers. Um, totally commercial, not retail, so don't come by my house. <laughs> no. Um, no. And then what was the last question? Uh, where can people find you? Can they find you on social media, website? Yeah. Yeah, um, I have a Facebook account, Levi Scott. It should be it should pop up with that. I'm not so sure. I don't have like any business kind of, like for your for like I don't have businesses. any marketing. I don't have zero marketing. No I have website. no website, no nah. nothing. And you're Good. still you're still winning. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. It's That's great. We're gonna wrap up this right here. That's great. Yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>